recently did this Beads of Courage bowl. I said that if anyone was interested, I would show how I used the CNC router to route the individual segments so that I could put the words on here. Now, I only had one person say he was interested, but I did say anybody, so I'll put this together quickly. And this is what I came up with. I hope you'll stick around and watch how I did it. And I have a question. If anybody out there can tell me for sure, what is this wood? Now, I've had it sitting around in my shop for about five years. I think it might be Arbutus. One thing I can tell you for sure, it is heavy. So I'm not sure if it's just not dry yet. I haven't tested that. But if anybody knows for sure, I'd really appreciate you letting me know. And now, let's go see how I use the CNC router to do these segments. To carve this segments, I have situated one board here and another one opposite it. The gap between them is the same thickness as the segment. These two boards are cut to the same angle as the segments. And now I can take the segment, push it down in there, and it's held fast. You may be able to see there's a dimple right in the center. And that's because I have pre-positioned the CNC to be right on the center. So I'll bring that back. And now it is ready to carve. I have it set, ready to carve. I'll put on my ear protection and get this started. I've left the dust boot off so you can see what's happening. Now to remove this, just use a large chisel, bring it straight up, and I have my O carved. I see it's slightly off center. I will adjust for that when I do the ones for the segment ring. I'll call that one pretty good. And as you can see, you are not restricted to just letters of the alphabet. Any shape will work, including the heart. This is going to be a 16 segment feature ring. Now just what can you put on 16 segments? Sorry about that. If I had known he was going to show up, I would have locked the door. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope more than just that one person enjoyed this and got something out of it. I hope you'll come back and join me next time. Between now and then, have a great day in your shop and be safe. If you did enjoy this, click the like button. Let me know I'm doing something right. Share it with your friends if you like. 
And if you haven't done so before, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for showing up and you take good care. Bye-bye now.